नमस्कार ग्रेट वन इंटरनेशनल स्कूल की ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में मैं आपका स्वागत करता हूं कोविड 19 महामारी के इस दौर में मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि आपका परिवार पूरी तरह सुरक्षित है स्वस्थ है और बच्चों ने लॉकडाउन में बहुत एंजॉय किया अब मैं आपका सपोर्ट चाहता हूं इस ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में बच्चों की शिक्षा को हम अब स्टार्ट करते हैं और बहुत ही जल्द जो भी आपका बैकलॉग है हम उसको क्लियर भी करेंगे और एक नए तरीके से आपकी शिक्षा अब स्टार्ट होने वाली है पेरेंट्स का हमें पूरा सपोर्ट चाहिए आप लोग पिछले दस सालों से लगातार हमें सपोर्ट करते आए हैं और मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि अगर हम और आप मिलकर चाहेंगे तो बच्चों की शिक्षा का कोई नुकसान नहीं होने वाला है और हमें और आपको मिलकर अब एक रीस्टार्ट करना है नाउ लेट्स रीस्टार्ट बेस्ट ऑफ लक नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग स्कॉलर्स आई होप यू आर आर सेफ स्टेइंग एट योर होम एस यू ऑल नो ड्यू टू दिस कोविड नाइनटीन लॉकडाउन वी ऑल आर पैक्ट एट आर होम बट on this time we all got sufficient time to refresh ourselves now it's time to come back to our study today we are going to start our online classes and i am going to start first chapter that is number system maths is all about numbers everything that you learn in mathematics is nothing but different form of number pattern first thing that you learn in maths what is it counting 1 2 3 4 and so on this is actually number pattern and also has a name is called natural numbers we normally represented by n so on a line 1 2 3 4 these are natural numbers we can count everything how do we show nothing with natural number you can't which is why we bring in zero if we include zero to the set of natural number that we already had we now get whole numbers this zero to infinity are whole numbers whole numbers represented by w now see what numbers we get by adding whole numbers see we add 2 and 5 we get 7 which also a whole number try 3 plus 8 we get 11 that is again a whole number so adding whole number is still giving us whole numbers now what happens if we subtract these numbers 3 and 8 what is the answer minus 5 now minus 5 is not a part of our whole set whole numbers so what do we do to able to represent minus 5 we add another set of numbers to the left side of zero these are negatives after natural numbers these entire set of numbers that we now have is called as integer presented by i there are numbers like 4 upon 7 1 4 upon 3 -4 upon 7 -1 these numbers of the form p upon q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to the zero the collection of all such numbers is known as the collection of all rational numbers and is denoted by q therefore rational numbers also include natural numbers whole numbers and integers let us see the first exercise of this chapter the first question is is 0 a rational number can you write it in the form p upon q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 so the solution is yes Zero is a rational number. Why? Because it can be written in the form p upon q, 
where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 because 0 can be represented as 0 upon 1, 0 upon 2, 0 upon 3 at extra. Denominator q can also be taken as negative integer means 0 upon minus 1, 0 upon minus 2, 0 upon minus 3. Second question is find 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4. So now see the solution. To find 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4, the denominator of fraction should be equal to 6 plus 1 that is 7. So 3 into 7 upon 7 is equal to 21 upon 7 and 4 into 7 upon 7 is equal to 28 upon 7. Now, easily we can find 6 rational numbers between 21 upon 7 and 28 upon 7. 6 rational numbers are 22 upon 7, 23 upon 7, 24 upon 7, 25 upon 7, 26 upon 7 and 27 upon 7. This is the solution. Okay. Now, see the next question. The next question is find 5 rational numbers between 3 upon 5 and 4 upon 5. So see the solution. There are infinite rational numbers between 3 upon 5 and 4 upon 5. To find out 5 rational numbers between 3 upon 5 and 4 upon 5, we will multiply both the numbers 3 upon 5 and 4 upon 5 with 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Or any number greater than 5 that is 3 upon 5 into 6 upon 6 is equal to 18 upon 30 and 4 upon 5 into 6 upon 6 that is 24 upon 30. The numbers in between 18 upon 30 and 24 upon 30 will be rational and will fall between 3 upon 5 and 4 upon 5 hence 19 upon 30. 20 upon 30, 21 upon 30, 22 upon 30, 23 upon 30 are the 5 rational numbers between 3 and upon 5 and 4 upon 5. Now, see the next question. Question number 4 is state whether the following statements are true or false. Give reasons for your answers. Question number one is every natural number is a whole number. See the solution. It is true. Since the collection of whole numbers contain all natural numbers including 0. Second question is every integer is a whole number. No. This is false. Whole numbers contains only positive numbers. While integers have positive numbers, negative numbers or 0. Third is, every rational number is a whole number. Yes, that is false. Rational numbers may be fractional, but whole numbers may not be fractional. For example, 3 upon 4, 2 upon 3, minus 4 upon 5, minus 1 upon 3 are rational numbers, but are not whole numbers. So scholars, your first exercise completed. I am giving you some of the questions that you have to try to solve yourself. Question number 1 is locate root 2 on the number line. Question number 2 is locate root 10 on the number line. Question number 3 is locate root 13 on the number line. So try to solve these questions. And uh, in next video, we will start exercise 1.2. So, thank you. Stay at home and stay safe.